Hi, it's Tim, K5OHY. I wanted to show a couple devices that I found recently. I watched a video um, from the ham radio duo, and they had a, a video basically showing all these really neat CW practice websites, uh, some games, uh, even a, a chat bot that you can practice QSOs with. And uh, you need a couple devices to, you, you need a device basically, an interface between your CW key and your computer. Um, this right here is a V band. And you can buy these ready to go from Ham Radio Solutions. They're about $30. And it basically just emulates a computer keyboard. Uh, I think it emulates the right and left control key or the right and left bracket key. Um, and so it's a very simple device, that, but, it, but it works quite well. Um, there's another similar device that's more of a do-it-yourself project, and there's a, a GitHub with, with a lot of information that I'll share here in a second. But this is uh, called a Veil Adapter, and it uses a tiny Arduino-based uh, microcontroller that has uh, custom firmware. And it, it has a few uh, additional uh, features over the V-Band. Uh, first, it allows you to put a small speaker for the side tone. Um, a lot of times with the V-band, uh, you'll get a little bit of delay, some latency between pressing your key and hearing the sound, uh, which can be quite difficult to, to, you know, to send with. So using the side tone on the speaker, there's no delay at all. Um, the other advantage is um, using the Veil website to practice, it has a lot of advanced features that I'll show you here in a minute. Um, it, when you use the Veil website to practice, it's not actually emulating a keyboard. This one will emulate a keyboard if you're using something like V-Band or some of the other websites. But if you open the Veil websites, it kind of switches modes. And to my understanding, it uses uh, MIDI uh, to, to send the, the CW signal, which I guess is, is, is better in, in a lot of regards. So let me show you what you can do with these. So this is the Veil Adapter GitHub. And you can find all the information you need here. It's, it's a fairly simple do-it-yourself project. Um, if you've never messed with Arduino, this is uh, probably one of the easiest Arduino projects I've ever done. But basically, all you need to do is uh, get one of these uh, microcontrollers that you can get off of Amazon. Um, so this is the one that's recommended. Um, it's nine dollars and fifty cents. I've actually seen these a lot cheaper, but I'm guessing those websites have a, a shipping included. I think I saw them for as low as five dollars on some other sites. So once you have that, all you need there, there, there's two ways to wire it up. You you can wire it directly to your key. Um, as you can see, um, all you have to do is wire uh, the DIT um, to pin D2 and the DAW to pin D1 and the ground is over here. Now, I decided to do a little bit different because I wanted the, um, the buzzers to get a side tone. So all I did was add uh, the speaker to D10 and I ran another um, wire to the ground and um, I also used a headphone jack uh, to make it easy to switch keys. One more thing about the Veil adapter that I didn't talk about. Um, it, it's very very simple uh, to load the firmware on. All you have to do is uh, short out these two pads right here and I think you have to short them out twice, and this is with it plugged into your computer, obviously. You short these pads and it puts it in bootloader mode. And then all you have to do is um, download his firmware, which you can find. Uh, let's go right here. Um, so the firmware is right here, and all you have to do is download this firmware. And once you put it into bootloader mode, it turns it into a drive on your computer and you just drag and drop this file on and the firmware is good to go. Um, and then I found um, the guy that kind of manages this now, uh, I don't think it's the original creator, but the guy that uh, um, kind of manages it, um, Brett, he has a couple 3D printed enclosures which I used. I used this larger one. 
uh, which uses a service mount um, headphone jack. And uh, it has a little spot for the speaker as well. Um, he just came out with a smaller version, which uh, you need his uh, PCB. Um, he sells these very cheap. All you have to do is email him. You can find his email address. And I think he even sells these as kits. I just ordered the PCB since I already have all the other parts. Um, and so that makes it for a nice little package. So this is the Veil website. It's very similar to VBAN and you have channels uh, that you can have QSOs over the internet. I'm going to go to the node transmit portion here. And then what's neat uh, about this is you can actually simulate a lot of different types of keys. Um, if you're like me, uh, I, I like to try new keys and different styles. I'm learn, trying to learn um, to use a bug. And I actually had never tried to use a cootie till I found this a, a couple days ago. Um, and so you can, you can basically uh, you know, simulate a cootie. So you can see there, uh, my cootie sending is terrible. Um, <laughs> I find the cootie, um, a, a lot of times people kind of sound like they've had a, had a couple drinks. They're a little slurred, but uh, it's, it's a cool way to send. Um, the bug mode, which I've been using quite a bit because I'm trying to learn how to send on a bug. And what's neat is I don't have to have a bug here. This is, I, I use my, my wind keyer to simulate a bug sometimes and get on the air, but this is, this is really good practice right here. So not great. So there's there's the bug mode, and of course you can do um, just just regular uh, uh, iambic A and B as well, um, and of course you've got all kinds of settings here. Um, the issue sometimes with using these adapters is the latency, and I've noticed that uh, with the Veil it doesn't seem to be as bad and um, some people just use a side tone on the veil adapter and turn the volume off on this because there is latency. And what's strange is I've noticed on different devices, the latency is different. Uh, for example, one of my laptops, it's, it's quite, quite a big delay and it's almost impossible to use um, without the, the side tone on the speaker of the veil adapter. So this website, um, is I believe made by uh, Brett uh, KE9BOS. Uh, he's he's the same one that, that that made the 3D models for the Veil adapters, and so he's got a lot of uh, QSO practice for different types of QSO, and there's also um, sending practice that uses the Veil adapter, and so you can practice sending words. Um, and what I've used it for is practicing my bug sending. Um, I've got a couple letters that, uh, like in my call sign, the Y, a lot of people have trouble understanding my Y when I send it on a bug. Sometimes I forget I'm using a bug. So. So you get the idea. Um, I need to work on my bug quite a bit. All right, so this, uh, this right here was uh, something that I found uh, from the ham radio duo. 
uh, Becky and Mike's video. And it's basically a throwback to the old school Space Invaders game, but with a CW twist. And you try to send these words before they hit your city. Having trouble with that. So you kind of get the idea. Now it starts off pretty slow, but uh, it does ramp up uh, once your score starts getting into like the eight, nine hundreds, it gets pretty challenging. The last website I'm gonna show you is from the Ham Radio Duo, Mike and Becky. And this is a really cool website for practicing conversational CW. Um, it uh, uses an AI chatbot, and you can just have uh, conversations off the air with it and not only practice your sending, but your head copy. So um, what you can do is you can you know, say anything you want. You can have a standard QSO and call CQ, and they'll answer, or you can just kind of start up a conversation. So you can send questions and they'll answer. Um, it's just a really neat way to practice uh, QSOs. So I'm going to go ahead and stop them. So um, those are just a few things that I found recently that, that have really been kind of fun to play with, uh, especially when I'm not able to get on the radio, I can practice my sending. Um, I often have a lot of downtime here at work, so I can uh, get on here and practice a little CW. Um, I hope you find these useful, and uh, I will hope to see you on the air soon. 73.